Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice problem. We have 2 to the power x is equal to 3 to the power y, and this is also equal to 2, 1, 6. And we have to find the value of 1 on x plus 1 on y. I'll be using two approaches to solve this problem. But before we begin, if you are new here, please do me a favor by subscribing to this channel. It is free, there's no charges on that, and you can change your mind at any time. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. So I will start from this side. This 1 over x plus 1 over y is also the same as x plus y on xy. Alright? So we are going to use this one to find this. Now from this equation we have 2 to the power x is equal to 2, 1, 6. And then 3 to the power y is also equal to 2, 1, 6. Alright? Now from here we have 2 to the power x is equal to 2, 1, 6 is also the same as 6 to the power 3. And then from here we have 3 to the power y is also equal to 6 to the power 3. Alright, so now we are going to compare these two equations to what we are finding. So starting with this one, considering this nice fraction, you can see that we have y over here, but there is no y here. So we will introduce y here by taking the y root on both sides of the equation. So we have 2 to the power x y is equal to 6 to the power 3 y. All right. So we have 2 to the power x y is equal to 6 to the power 3 y. All right. So I'm going to call this equation as my equation 1. Okay. So now let's move to this equation over here. So here comparing this equation to this fraction, you can see that we have x over here, but there is no x here. So I will introduce x here by taking the x root. So we have 3 to the power y, then x over here, and this is equal to 6 to the power 3 or to the power x. All right, so here we have 3 to the power xy is equal to 6 to the power 3x. And I'm going to call this equation my equation 2. All right, so now from here, I will say that equation 1 times equation 2. Okay, so we have 2 to the power xy times this one, which is 3 to the power xy is equal to 6 to the power 3y times 6 to the power 3x. So now let's multiply this. We have 6 to the power xy over here, and this is equal to, since the bases are the same, I'll just add the exponent. So we have 6 to the power 3y plus 3x. All right? So from here, you can see that we have the same basis. So I will equate the exponent. So we have xy is equal to 3y plus 3x. Now we have xy over here. So let's take 3 common. So we have 3 into y plus x. Okay. This is also the same as xy is equal to 3 into x plus y since addition is commutative. So now I'm going to divide each side by x plus y. All right, then here by x plus y. All right, so that this one will cancel this. Now we have x, y on x plus y is equal to three. All right, so now let's consider the fraction that we are finding. You can see that we have x plus y as the numerator and then x, y as the denominator. So we will make this one the same thing by reciprocating each side of the equation. So we have this side to the minus 1, then this side to the minus 1, so that we have x plus y over x, y is equal to 1 on 3. Okay, so this is our answer. Then let's go to the second method. So the second method, we have 2 to the power x is equal to 6 to the power 3, and then 3 to the power y is equal to 6 to the power 3. 
all right so from here i'll take log on both sides so we have log 2 to the power x is equal to log 6 to the power 3. then here i also take log on both sides so we have log 3 to the power y is equal to log 6 to the power 3. all right so from here i'm gonna move this x to this side so we have x log 2 is equal to then i'll move this one here as well so we have 3 log 6 all right so now i'm going to divide each side by log 2 then i'll divide here also by log 2 so that this one will take care of this now we have x is equal to 3 log 6 on log 2 all right so now we have x over here now let's move to this side so here i also move y to this side so we have y log 3 is equal to then i also move this 3 here so we have 3 log 6 okay now since we want to find y let's divide each side by log 3 then here also by log 3 so that this one will cancel this now we have y is equal to 3 log 6 on the log of 3 okay all right so don't forget that we are looking for 1 on x plus 1 on y okay now from here considering this side we have 1 on x but here we have x so this means that we will reciprocate this so we have x to the negative 1 then this whole thing to the negative 1 okay so here we have 1 on x is equal to log 2 on 3 log 6 okay now let's come to this side here we have 1 on y but here we have y so we will also reciprocate this side so to the negative 1 then the whole of this raised to the power negative 1 so we have 1 on y is equal to log 3 on 3 log 6 okay so therefore 1 on x plus 1 on y is equal to now 1 on x is log 2 on 3 log 6 plus then here we have log 3 on 3 log 6 you can see that we have the same denominator so we can combine them easily so we have 3 log 6 over here then we have log 2 plus log 3 according to one of the properties of logarithm if they are adding you multiply so we have log 6 over here and this side is 1 on x plus 1 on y so straight away you can see that this log will take care of this now we have 1 on 3 so guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel thanks a lot for watching see you again on the next video